Also at 5.30, Fort Lauderdale police officers say they were forced to fire when a murder suspect started shooting at them first. Officers had pulled over that suspect and were trying to get him out of the car when the bullets started flying. And we're now hearing from a friend of the man who was killed as well as his ex-girlfriend, whose mother he is accused of murdering. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live with this twisted web. Terrell. Well, the parking lot of this strip mall near Sunrise Boulevard and Power Line is where police cornered and ultimately killed that suspect. We learned today that officers believe that he had at least two handguns and he used one of them. Shattered car windows and several vehicles riddled with bullets. The scene paints a violent encounter between a murder suspect and Fort Lauderdale police, one that would end with the death of 31-year-old Ditatius Mobley. I definitely hold him responsible for the death of my mom, and he should have been held accountable for his actions, not killed. Latravia Jefferson is Mobley's ex-girlfriend and mother to his three kids. She showed up to the shooting scene this afternoon in tears. We've learned Mobley had been on the run since January, accused of killing Latravia's mother, Bernice Jefferson, during a family dispute. And she had her back there. She didn't know. A crime back then in which Latravia told us happened right in front of her own eyes. For me, it's a double tragedy. I just went through this in January. So now again, I have to bury my baby daddy and take my kids to see their daddy for the last time in the casket. No closure, no, no peace. Closure. It's no, it's no closure, it's no peace, it's no justice. We're told U.S. Marshals tracked Mobley to the 900 block of West Sunrise Boulevard Wednesday evening. Detectives say they first tried non-lethal methods on Mobley, who was uncooperative, but eventually had no choice but to fire when the man used a handgun to shoot at officers several times. Cops returned fire, killing Mobley. I just don't want y'all to think my nephew was a monster or like that. He's a very, very loving person, man. Very loving. And you know, it, it, situations happen. The justice still ain't served. I would have rather him go to jail. And so many reminders still remain here of what happened. The outside shutters to this business still peppered in bullet holes. We also note that the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, they are investigating the aspects of this case, even though it was Fort Lauderdale police officers uh, who pulled the trigger. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.